Good Tuesday morning. Delighted to be with you, talking to you about you and your business. Every Tuesday, I have a segment we call it the Energy Corridor, talking about what's happening in uh, one of the most important parts of Houston's economy, which is energy. Uh, Kent Batman uh, does this segment with me every single uh, week on Tuesday. Uh, Kent, uh, I want you to begin by uh, introducing yourself and your companies that you're working with, and uh, we've got a great guest lined up. In fact, uh, look forward to you two uh, actually visiting uh, in the future. I think you'll find it interesting. But Ken, go ahead. Uh, yes, uh, I'm with Vicam Ecofluids. We make biodegradable drilling fluids that drill as quickly, as, as uh, efficiently as oil-based mud, less expensive, and uh, no environmental cleanup. So awesome. That's what Vicam does. James Pappas is the vice president with the uh, Ultra Deepwater Program for the Research Partnership to Secure Energy for America, Ripsy. Is that correct, James? That is correct. Thanks for having me. Yeah, and I got to do a little homework, uh, you know, by uh, by picking his brain before we even got started. And what a fascinating company! I think it's a great company, uh, research partner uh, partnership to secure energy for America. And uh, what's interesting about it is that uh, you're pretty much uh, wall to wall in terms of what you're covering. It, it it covers a plethora of different areas when it comes to the energy industry. Explain a little bit about that, James, and welcome sure. to the program. Thank you very much. So, REPC is uh, created by the Energy Policy Act of 2005. It is a 501c3 organization. That act provides us with $37.5 million of uh, money that can be added to cost share to do research in the oil and gas E&P uh, upstream organization. We focus on the ultra-deep water environments. That's over 5,000 feet water depths in the Gulf of Mexico, as well as onshore. Onshore includes small producers and unconventional gas. Yeah, very good. Kent, you have a question well, to get us started? Yeah, just curious, uh, with your section, of course I went to your website, and they're talking about how heavy the uh, uh, rig count's going to be over the next year. We're going to almost double in the next two years in rigs offshore of Gulf of Mexico. Are you involved in that? I have been involved in that, and we, of course, we saw a, a cutback, a severe cutback after the Macondo blowout, and it's begun to, to pick up. Now that people understand the new regulations that have jumped right in, uh, there's a backlog, and that backlog is going to continue to be pushed forward, and as more rigs become available, we'll be able to see more. This will probably go on for the next three years or so. Yeah, that's yeah. amazing. Yeah. Isn't there some reticence on the part of uh, those spending money to, you know, they're a little concerned that, our president may do something like another moratorium? There really hasn't been anything like that. I think that uh, the president has come around to understand the importance of energy, specifically uh, oil and natural gas, as a bridge, if you will, to the future, where we'll see a less carbon-restrictive economy. And he recognizes that this is not going to happen overnight, that America and really the whole world is is hugely dependent on energy and that this is probably the cleanest way to go very good yeah so uh there before we got you on the program you talked a little bit about the type of companies that are involved kind of give us that overview of of uh what your what companies are dealing with what issues you're addressing I'd be i'd be happy to so this is a member-driven organization. It, uh, it consists of about 180 plus or minus members. Those members include oil and gas companies all over the spectrum, from the majors to uh, small independents. It also includes service supply manufacturing companies, many of them which are located in the Houston area, as well as national laboratories, environmental concerns, safety organizations, and 26 of the major research uh, universities in the United States. All of these companies are U.S. based or U.S. subsidiaries, and they're all hugely in, important to us, and they, they help us to focus on the particular types of projects. Now, those projects that we're focusing on right now include, uh, include natural gas, as I said, and it, it focuses on, on unconventional gas, specifically hydraulic fracturing, water containment, water removal, or water disposal, water cleanup, and on the, uh, on the, Offshore side, it talks about risk reduction, risk reduction that uh, that is associated with everything from drilling, completions, exploratory prospects, uh, production, uh, uh, subsea facilities, and topsides facilities that you might find in ultra-deep water. Kent? Uh, it's, 
That's excellent. I see uh, you've got on schedule headed to the Marcellus Shale and uh, areas that you know we didn't think about as being real energy producers, at least those of us down here. It is fun to see these new areas, especially for gas, developing. Yeah, I think there's there's a huge impact, and and being able to crack the shale, so to speak, which uh, I, I guess we can attribute to George Mitchell and, and Mitchell Energy uh, mm-hmm. initially, as well as the Department of Energy work that was done in the 1970s, has really opened up these areas. Marcellus is one of them. The New Albany is one that is, is uh, potentially up and coming in the next few years. The Utica Shale, of course, we can go back to the Barnett Shale here in Texas and the Eagleford as well as some others that are continuing to be developed by companies in and around the United States. Yep. I, okay. I started this, James. We need to probably do we have Marcellus in West Virginia, Utica in Ohio, mm-hmm. uh, of course, Barnett, West Texas, and our, our listeners all be familiar with the, the other one you mentioned. Yeah, I mentioned in New Albany. New Albany is located in Illinois. Yeah. Uh, primarily it goes down into, into Missouri. It's, it, there's probably 14 to 16 wells that have been drilled through it at this point, and there's been a study that, uh, that has been done that indicates that there should be a lot of gas potential, but it's several years down the road. Isn't, yeah. Isn't that exciting? Yeah, it's amazing, actually. Tell us a little bit, uh, James, about the, uh, about the t- uh, number of organizations that you have involved uh, with this in terms of members. Well, as I said, we've got most of the major operators that uh, that we would be familiar with, people that people buy, uh, buy gasoline from, for example, and uh, as as well as a lot of the independents, such as Anadarko, Devon Energy, and uh, there, there are several others out there. You've got small independent producers that may be producing 500 to 1,000 barrels a day uh, that may be located uh, in Kansas, for example. We've got uh, manufacturing companies such as uh, Cameron, and Baker, and uh, Halliburton, Slumberjay, and so forth. Uh, the national labs uh, in, include Los Alamos Natu- uh, National Lab, for example, and uh, and the National Energy Technology uh, Laboratory. And then we've got major universities such as Texas A&M, UT uh, Austin, uh, uh, S- uh, SMU, uh, LSU, and uh, some other smaller universities that we may not be aware of down here, like Portland State University. Mm-hmm. Yeah, there you go. James Pappas, he's uh, again with RPSEA, the Research Partnership to Secure Energy for America. Their website is rpsea.org, rpsea.org. Kent? Oh, it's just fascinating. James, are you involved in any downstream, any development of uh, like natural gas for use and transportation of vehicles, anything along those lines? Not directly. We're not uh, not supposed to get into that as far as this uh, this particular law is concerned, although we do keep tabs on it, and, uh, of course, we're intently interested, just as the rest of the world is. Yeah, very cool. Very good stuff. Can't go ahead. Sounds like you had another question? Well, it, no, it, that was that was my question. I just, it's fascinating, and, and uh, watching your website, it's great to see what y'all are involved with. Uh, it's It's an exciting time. I yeah. appreciate it. Yeah, absolutely. Well, thanks uh, thanks for being with us. I appreciate uh, your your time today. Thank you very much. Also want to mention, of course, Kent can be reached over at Vicam, V-I-C-H-E-M, ecofluids.com, Vicam, ecofluids.com. And uh, Vicam is a great innovator helping, uh, helping business owners in terms of uh, – uh, come up with smarter ways to uh, take care of that uh, the waste that comes with drilling. And so uh, thanks for being with us, Kent. Thank you. As Thank always. You, we look forward to our segment again next week, talking about what's happening on the energy front. I am Kevin Price. You're listening to The Price of Business. We want to remind you the show continues 24-7 at priceofbusiness.com. While there, like it on Facebook, follow it on Twitter. Stay tuned for more right after this. 